I'm Jim Park. Welcome back to Pittsford, New York, home of Venomics and the True Fuel driver coaching system. If you haven't already seen the first video in this set, please check it out first. This video will make a lot more sense after you've seen the first part, Bad Jim. This time I'm going to try to beat my rather unenviable shifting score of 46, earned in part one by driving pretty poorly. I've had my remedial training and I'm determined to keep my shift points much lower than before. So here we go with the good gym. I'm going to be really careful with my shift points this time. Try not to take anything much over a thousand if I can get away with it. Certainly well below 15. So uh, we're going to run this short little course. You'll be able to see what my uh, engine speed and road speed is. And uh, hopefully we're not going to hear any warnings this time. Starting from uh, second gear, I'm going to keep all the revs way, way down as low as possible. Even though I'm talking, I'm still kind of pay attention to what's going on here. Although I am going up a little higher than I did before. Still haven't gotten much above 12. Certainly didn't get any warnings that time, which is the whole idea. And uh, now cruising along here, just under 30 miles an hour, 1200 RPM in eighth gear. And uh, everything was down below the threshold, so we should score good on that one. We were about 20 minutes into the ride when my coach, Ben Stevens of Venomics, sales engineer, got me talking about one of my favorite subjects, tires. The real big advantage is the weight savings. Yeah. You know, they're a lot lighter than duals. So, you know, on a full truck, you can save 1,400 pounds. Yeah. Oh, shut ah. up! Jay, <laughs> you guys are bothering me. I know what you're Damn trying it, to do. my <laughs> So you just saw the little buzzer go off. I was talking, not paying attention. Uh, I've talked before, and you've seen this in the magazine, but I figure I could probably drive as well as uh, in any automated transmission, any predictive cruise control system, but I just can't stay on top of it the way the computer can. You just saw me right there. got distracted for a few minutes, got talking about tires, one of my favorite subjects, and uh, boom. Popped a little warning there, so there goes my 100 score. Uh, but it just goes to show you, even the driver's best efforts, working it, trying to do this, uh, some little thing comes along, distracts you. The nice thing about this system is you get a little beep, tells you you screwed up, rather than you know your uh, safety guy, your operations guy, hauling you into the office and giving you a dressing down for doing it. So it doesn't take much to knock a driver off his or her game. That shows just how much focus is required to maintain a consistently high score in real life and how effective a gentle little reminder can be. Here's a couple of comments Ben made on the first run. This is going back to our bad gym run. That's the thing, you know, it's that constant reminder that really gets it. You know, you can sit down with a guy, show him a video or talk him through what needs to be done. But when he goes out and drives the truck, who knows if he actually remembers to do it or if he does it the first time, is he gonna do it the next time? Yeah. And I think we've we've found and proven that it's that constant reminder in the cab that really creates the muscle memory necessary to shift like that every single time. And there's the alternative too, right? You got companies who talk about governing RPMs, governing speed, all things like that. We run into that a decent amount. Yeah. And you know, we say, look, you, everybody in this industry has a driver retention problem right now or or a problem in getting anybody to come to their company you, you tell them that they got a neutered truck that's a one more tip one yep. more uh check against you so with this system you basically get the benefit of something like that but with giving the guy the full full range of the gears and the speed you know yeah i would much rather have all the everything the engine can do but just discipline not to use it all exactly. yep. absolutely yep. In this way, you know, the management has the peace of mind that they can see who's not treating the engine correctly, and the guys can do what they need to when they need to. Yep. Okay, back from round two, the good gym route. Uh, I gaffed a couple of times, took the RPM up just a little high once or twice, got the warning, so kind of blew my 100 out the window. We've got uh, bets on the floor right now for a score of... 97 and a score of 96, correct? Yep. 
So we're going to turn this puppy off and see what it says. The moment of truth is upon us. Your score is 99. 99! Hey, hey! Not too bad, considering I think I heard the alarm go off three times. As it was just explained to me, they're not going to nick you for every time you set the alarm off, but by how badly you do it. And frankly, as soon as I heard it go, it was so disappointing, I got my foot right off the throttle, cursed myself, and carried on. But, as I said earlier, it just goes to show you how easy it is. Uh, you get talking about something you're passionate about, get all excited, before you know it, you're up over 1,500 RPM, so, <laughs> At any rate, I had, what, 47 earlier? That was my score this after this morning, 47. And then uh, on the second part of that trip, I had a 94, I think it was, and now 99 on a route. So you can see how the coaching works, the signals work, uh, driver, me, responds to the beep, especially when I know what's at stake. You know, <clears throat> if I'm looking at a fuel bonus or, uh, you know, my ranking within the company scores, uh, if I can keep my score high just by paying attention to what I'm doing and uh, taking note of the uh, coaching I get, as I make my mistakes, as long as I respond to them, uh, the system responds favorably, and uh, I stay up in the uh, up in the high 90s. So, Venomics True Fuel, pretty cool system, pretty good way of coaching drivers, and uh, I think this has got real potential going forward. So, for Heavy Duty Trucking Magazine and today's Trucking Magazine in Rochester, New York, at Venomics, I'm Jim Park.